Plus muscle is an amazing beauty. You will fall in love with plus muscle. Each time you see a plus muscle, it, it, it triggers multiple areas in your brain. Next time you see a plus muscle, it will trigger multiple areas in your brain. That's how beautiful plus muscle is, right? Put your pens down, listen to me, and we are going to see how a plus muscle looks. What is a plus muscle? It's nothing but an activated lymphocyte. That's all. It's nothing but an activated lymphocyte. So my lymphocyte gets activated to produce plasma, become plus muscle, and the role of plus muscle is to produce immunoglobulin. Clear? Let's see how biochemistry is involved. So when I want to produce a protein, I need to produce a protein in plasma cell. My nucleus should be euchromatic or heterochromatic. Euchromatic, light or dark, light, right? So my nucleus is going to be not fully clear. Few of them only will be clear because only immunoglobulin is going to be produced, right? So I'll have light area as well as dark area. I'll tell a name for that as well, right? Nucleus will have both light areas as well as dark areas. At the same time, it's going to synthesize a protein. In your biochemistry, in transcription and translation, you must have read few things called as post-translation and modifications. Dolico low phosphate. Have you heard of them? Right? The post-translation modification tells a protein you have to stay inside the cytoplasm. See, you have to go to the membrane, act as a receptor, you have to go outside the cell, act as a secretory product. This is what happens. There are co-translation and post-translational modifications. So when I have to tell a protein, see you have to go outside, you have to get secreted, I need post-translational modifications and that happens in Golgi apparatus. What is the function of plasma cell? To produce immunoglobulin. Do they have to go outside? Obviously yes. Only when they go outside, they are going to kill the organisms, right? They will go outside. So here in plasma cell, Golgi apparatus plays a very important role, so they are going to become big. Anything which works becomes big. So when it becomes big, the location of Golgi apparatus in a cell, go back to 11th standard biology, it will be close to a nucleus. Endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi will be close to the nucleus. So close to my nucleus, I am going to have a big fat Golgi. Golgi will not take up stain. In routine stains, it will not take up stain, so it will look clear. Right? So my plasma cell is filled with immunoglobulin waiting to get fired. Will it be round? No, it will become big and it will become oval, it will become stretched. Now we will draw class muscle. Whatever we read, you are going to draw. Listen to me, whatever I told you, conceive it, put it in your head. Your head is amazing. It's the best 3D animation studio you ever got. You are going to make a class muscle. Your body makes class muscle, you are going to make a class muscle in your head. I have a cell, I have a lymphocyte. Okay, you have a lymphocyte. Once lymphocyte is there, it's going to become a plasma cell. I'm just writing lymphocyte. It's going to become a plasma cell. The function of plasma cell I'm just writing here is to secrete immunoglobulins. The first change in the nucleus. When my plasma cell has to secrete immunoglobulin, you need euchromatin. It has to be functional. So my nucleus, what happens is, it will have heterochromatin, which is going to be completely dark blue. Okay, it will also have euchromatin which will be light. The lighter areas, the white areas here are euchromatin. See, I am drawing it a bit fancy because I have to come to a name. When you look at this nucleus, it looks like a wheel. So it's called as a cartwheel nuclei. It has a cartwheel appearance of a nuclei. Then it is going to secrete immunoglobulins. Second, when they secrete substances, it will accumulate and will release whenever it's needed, right? So my cytoplasm becomes big. My plasma cell will be eccentric nuclei. All the immunoglobulin will be stored in the cytoplasm. If my immunoglobulin is stored in the cytoplasm, what is the color of a protein? Immunoglobulin is a protein. What is the color of a protein? Pink. You guys know that. So my cytoplasm is going to become pink in color. Right? Is your 3D animation brain doing it well? I'm sure it's doing it well, right? It's going to become pink in color. My cytoplasm becomes pink in color. Because my cytoplasm has immunoglobulin, which is a protein which will be pink in color. I said that the function of this protein is to go outside. So it has to be secreted. The signal comes from my Golgi, which does the post-translational modifications. So close to my nucleus, I have Golgi, which will have a perfect perinuclear halo, perinuclear Hof. 
third important thing is allowing perinuclear halo or a perinuclear half. There's nothing but because of Golgi apparatus. Beautiful, isn't it? And you guys are worrying about microscopy. Just basics with imagination. I'm sure you guys are amazing in imagination. You make TikTok videos. You make memes. I can't even put a template for a meme. No creativity. Zero creativity. Young generation, amazing creativity. Medicine should be a cakewalk. People don't tell you you are good. I'll keep telling you. I'll keep telling you a thousand times in the entire video. You are good. You are the best. I want you to believe that. That's all. That's how plasma cell looks in a biopsy.